Today we're talking about the Winnipeg Jets. And not usually in a good way. Actually, I'm starting to think that a lot of these videos are just going to be teamed and just going to be ragging on teams other than the Penguins. Winnipeg currently sits third overall in the season for goals allowed against. However, they are in a playoff spot. They currently sit in the last wild card spot uh, by one point with Nashville right behind, who are currently a little bit in form. And you go through the advanced stats, and I know a lot of you don't have time to do that, so I kind of did. Goaltending's obviously an issue for this team. I think everyone knows that. Hallebuck and Hutchinson. Hallebuck has a .889 save percentage, and Hutchinson has a .91 save percentage. Sure, Hutchinson isn't awful, but it, it is not saving them games. He's not the reason why they would win one or two games, which is what you need your goaltender to do. He's serviceable, but he's not winning games for them. If you have the goalie, it's 70% of your team. If you don't have the goalie, it's 100% of your team. So what do the Jets need to do from here? Well, if you look at advanced stats, the defense also is to blame. Uh, they rank pretty high in high scoring chances against... The alarming stat for the goalies is both of them rank quite high in medium scoring chances uh, ending in goals. So the ones that are like, you know, this can go in, I guess. Um, but they're, they're letting in a lot more than other goalies. Right now they're about on par with uh, a certain plucky team in Dallas. So where to here? Well, the trade's probably the best option and maybe shore up something on the left D or maybe get a defensive third or fourth um, liner. I think that would help out a lot. Um, but yeah, I think that's the big one is obviously getting a better goalie. But where? What goalies are available? I mean, Ramo got picked up, so you can't really go with him. I think... Jets probably have a little bit of room here as long as they don't as long as they keep treading this wild card water that they can get some like Enroth and hope he get catches fire like he did last season. Um I'm surprised they went in on like someone like Condon or someone like that, because Hallebuck is not having a good year. Like it's just awful. So bring in someone else and then if you do need to make a move, then look to go get that goalie from somewhere else. Do something cheap first that doesn't use many assets and doesn't uh, cost your team in the long run that may work out and then if it doesn't, cool, we'll go back to the drawing board and we'll make a big trade for something that will work out. I mean, Devin Dubnik's a, a perfect example. That was just like, let's throw some darts on a board and hope this one sticks and it stuck. It was a bullseye. Um, he's probably the second best goalie in the league right now. Um, anyone who says otherwise doesn't watch Carey Price. So that's a quick sum up of the Jets. I feel like they need to get a goalie and maybe show up their left D a little bit because it's so right heavy and playing Truba on the left doesn't really work out too well. So maybe look at moving Truba for a left defender um, or a goalie. I think that's those that are riding on the wall. I mean, that bridge contract seems very tradable. I think that's why they made it is to get him out of town eventually. So um, there's always that. Anyway guys, that's our video. What do you think the Jets should do? Who should they trade for? I mean, Marc-Andre Fleury's available. I'm not sure if he's what you want anymore. Thanks for watching guys. See you and bye.